Welcome back, YouTubers, bloggers, vloggers, and browsers of the wonderful YouTube world. We welcome you back to Plugged In 2010, the Geek Technique channel dedicated to you for all your technology needs. Today's tutorial is based on a couple comments that were sent in to our channel as well as our email on how to install APK files for Google or Google Apps as they call them that are not offered by the app brain or the market. Uh, today's test environment or demo environment is going to be a Windows 7 machine. Uh, with Google Chrome OS as well as an HTC Evo 4G from one of the developers here at Geek Technique. Um, the reason why that this is important is there could be some applications that are no longer offered out there or mistakenly got deleted from your device and you need to locate them again and reinstall them on your device because you know that they work. Um, this also works well in the event that um, your device receives an OTA update uh, and can render some applications on your device uh, unusable. So that being said, today I'm going to go over that to make sure that you have allowing unknown sources checked inside the application settings of the device, which will be shown in part two. That will allow you to co copy the APK file that you download on your machine, your local computer that is, over to your Android device's memory or external storage, and then allowing you to install as if it was a trusted app from the market or from AppBrain or another reliable source. So without further ado, let's go forward. Like I said, today is in Chrome on Windows 7. Let's begin. We're going to load up Chrome here, and I'm going to go to a quick bookmark that I have listed to show you some quick t quick tips. Everything that you see featured today will be located in the comments section of today's video, so feel free to subscribe, promote, and share across the network. In your browser that you will see brought up today, you'll see go to google.com is where I recommend. You'll see some text, which I will put in the comment section to allow you to use this at your free will. Um, this was provided by the wonderful family and, and uh, developers and bloggers over at lifehacker.com as well as in Gadget had a story posted on this. The text that you see in the search criteria box above is dash in URL colon htm space dash in URL colon html space in title and then quotations some text and the letters APK um, what this is basically doing is doing a Google search for any HTM or HTML files with a title of a page that says index of and then APK meaning look for anything inside that folder or that listed page with the extension of APK or APK in the name um, and what this is is what they call a wildcard search of the internet for anybody who has any pages that are published to the public internet out there in the free world that have APK files listed in, in some kind of directory tree format uh, henceforth all the results that you see listed in the page like I said, if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please leave them below the video here or email us at geektechnique at gmail.com. We are always willing to support and uh, respond to any questions you may have with regards to these tutorials or any tutorials that have been posted in the Plugged In 2010 channel. Thanks once again to lifehacker.com, the people at Fandroid, and other uh, donations that have been put forth to making these tutorials beneficial to you. Thanks again for your support. Let's move on. First off, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we are going to click on this one since I've done this, and we're going to download a few APKs. Uh, I'm actually going to just download one, uh, and I'm going to use Remote VNC Pro. It'll download and it'll show that it's finished down here at the bottom. Please make sure that you let the download finish as needed and necessary for your internet connection. Trying to pause, open the file, or do any such other actions while it is in download process could render the file corrupt and thus not usable on your device. It is imperative that you let all downloads finish before proceeding. Alright, once it's done, we're going to go ahead and open the folder of where it's at. I'm going to cut it from here and take it to the desktop. Close this window, minimize that window and we are going to paste it right here. So now that we have it here, we are good to go. I will then hook up our developer's HTC Evo 4G. Make sure you hook up your device in a standard manner. USB 2.0 is the recommended. And select mount as disk drive so that way your device is recognized by the internal file manager of your computer. I'm doing so now to bring it online. And once your device is recognized by the 
said operating computer, you'll see a window like this in Windows 7, somewhere in XP. Go ahead and open your folder files to view. This will bring you to the local storage of the actual device. Note, while doing this, you will not be able to browse the external storage if you have an SD card installed on the device as it is being used by the Android system to be displayed or in file transfer method across your screen that you have. Locate a folder that you would like to bring it to. In this case, you've already seen that we had two APK files that were brought over from the first version of this demo, which then became corrupted in the video I have to reshoot. So, here is the APK file that we're going to use. We're going to go ahead and copy it over here. Once it's done, you'll see it listed here, just like that. When you're done, close the window here. And, once you're said and done, you can go ahead and unhook your device listening for your didn't if you have Windows 7 or the dink dink which is in Windows XP letting you know that your device has been successfully removed from the system and no longer accessible if you wish to do it the safe way which a lot of people do you can go to USB safely remove manager in the taskbar of your set operating system and clicking on here and going to stop slash disconnect that will allow you to go ahead and remove the device from your machine without having any repercussions whatsoever also, please make note that when you are doing any installs from your phone, you will need a file manager of sorts application installed on the Android device, such as Astro or... I forget what the other one is, but nonetheless, please make sure you have a file manager installed from the market on your device in order to install these. When you're said and done, you will be able to go ahead and install the application following in part two of the video which will be right after the break once again all apps all locations all search criteria and things used in today's video and today's demo will be mentioned in the comments section below and are available by email at geektechnique at gmail dot com thanks once again and let's pause while i get ready for part two thank you All right, welcome back from the break. Apologize about the brief delay. Once again, we're back here at Geek Technique 2010 channel, going over the install of external APKs from the internet on your Android device. As mentioned in the first part of the video, today's featured device is going to be an HTC Evo 4G from one of our developers here at Geek Technique. Um, you'll see the device sitting here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn it on, uh, just to show you the device a little bit, get you an idea if you haven't seen it already. A uh, really nice device, got a lot of great reviews, uh, really great functionality. Um, so we're going to turn it on right now and you'll see the home screen lock. We're going to unlock his device like this. And I'll give you a quick view of his home screen. He's using Launcher Pro Plus right now with a couple different widgets. His battery widget as well as the um, G-Tab Semi Clock and Vertical minimalist, Minimalistic Text widget. Um, and a customized dock down here with uh, Switch Pro. So. Um, that's aside, but you can get those off of the market as well as off of how we searched for them today. Uh, one of the things that you're going to want to do uh, before installing any apps is you're going to want to go into a menu of your device, Settings, and you're going to want to go into Applications, and you're going to want to make sure that this box right here under Unknown Sources is checked. And the reason why this is important is that allows for any applications or APK files that you've downloaded off the internet to be installed on the device. Uh, once you verify that they are safe or clean uh, using your local Windows machines um, antivirus scanners or some of the free ones that are out there on the internet so we know that they are already safe um, I've already scanned them and my computer knows well uh, that they are working to install these uh, applications from the device you're going to want to make sure that you have an application like Astro or a file manager of sorts that will be able to go in and browse your external memory or the memory of the device. He has Astro, so we'll go ahead and go into Astro, we'll click on Home, and where we copied it before, which I believe we did for the demo earlier part, was Documents. So we'll click on Documents, and we will look for his app. Okay. The first app that we did download off the internet right there was the Google Earth. That was one of them. And the other one was Password Manager. 90% um, of all Google APKs for Android will have that little green icon guy right there next to the name of the file. Uh, and because we've enabled the uh, external sources or unknown sources, this is going to allow us to click on the app 
and it's going to say, hey, this is an application file. Do you wish to browse the file or open App Manager? We're going to open the App Manager. And next shows up uh, what the name of the file is called Com Google Earth. It shows a quick summary, and then there's a details tab. shows what we have, what version it is, um, and you can do install, etc., etc. So we're going to go ahead and click install. And it tells you what it's going to allow you to do. Location, storage, communication, show all. Just like a standard install. And then we have the install and cancel buttons down here. So we're going to go ahead and click install. And then you'll have your little flash scroller bar that tells you how it's doing. And it's going to install. And continue installing. And as we, oops, sorry about that, folks application has been installed and then you have open and done and in this case we're gonna go ahead and press done we're gonna back out press home press home again and we're back at the dedicated launcher screen that he has indicated here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off unknown sources for now it's just a precautionary thing that I like to do and I never like to keep it on uh, in case of uh, browsing the internet and something just mandatorily gets downloaded and you don't know it it's a safe precaution so we're going to uncheck that press the home key and now we're back to the standard screen once we've done that we can now click on the start button or as I call it the app launcher button um, and we will go ahead and look for the application and I believe it was Google Earth and look at there there it is completely downloaded off the internet and installed so we're gonna go ahead and load up and like I say this is on an Evo 4G from one of our developers you can see that it's loading and here is the Google app for Google Earth right now it's doing a data check for all of the locations and where the images are and there you go look at that we can zoom in zoom out scroll around find out where we want and double click takes you in zooms you in and a little further and yeah starts to load like a normal app and that my friends is Google Earth um, and you can do my location and settings and layers etc just kinda like Google Maps does so that is how it installs just that simple and shows in your standard application launcher just like this right here Google Earth whoops sorry Let's back out of there go back to this and there you have it right there in plain view Google Earth just like we would want it so that my friends and internet viewers is how you install from a downloaded APK file to your desktop and then transfer via USB cable over to your device and then using a file browser or a directory browser of your external memory or storage card on the device and allowing you to install the APK file from the App Manager app when launched either via Astro or whatever file manager you have. Um, like I said, uh, everything that I have that regards to the applications and such will be located in the comments down below. So please show your support. And if you have any questions, please email geektechnique at gmail.com. Look for the search criteria as the wildcard used in the, dis in the first part of the install video. Uh, that'll be listed there as well. So, uh, once again, thanks and hope you enjoy. Have a great day.